Socialism, the word invented in the late 1810s, communism, the word first appeared in 1840. None of these things were words, much less ideologies, before the French Revolution, and the French Revolution gives birth to much of the modern political world. Have you not wondered why we refer to the political left and the political right? Does this have any inherent bodily signification? No. Left and right in politics comes from the original designation of the deputies. The left were those who were seen as progressive wanting to change, the right were seen as those wanting to conserve elements of the old regime. It's time for this young loggerhead turtle to go to work. We can tether turtles in these little cloth harnesses, put them into this tank and dull swimming place. University of North Carolina biologist Ken Lohman studies sea turtles that are programmed from birth for an extraordinary journey. Mother turtles buried the eggs on the beach and then returned to the sea, and the eggs hatch about 50 to 60 days later. Support for the National Science Foundation, Lohman is learning how these reptiles use the Earth's magnetic field to navigate a 5- to 10-year journey around the Atlantic Ocean. The turtles seem to inherit a set of responses that tell them what to do when they encounter specific magnetic fields at particular locations. This animal magnetism can be a lifesaver and one field off Portugal triggers the turtles to turn south. If they don't, they likely die swept into frigid North Atlantic waters. In one lab test turtles responded to magnetic field similarly to what they would encounter off the coast of Florida. Take eye contact, for example. Studies say the right amount of eye contact during conversations is about 3.3 seconds. But awkward people don't instinctively do that. But when we don't look people in the eyes, it makes them feel socially ostracized. According to Tashiro's work, awkward people tend to look at other parts of the face, like the chin or the ear more than the eyes. Therefore, they might end up alienating the person they're talking to and missing out on important information about how that person might be feeling. The good news is that if your brain isn't great at social cues, it might be good at other stuff instead. So, the turtles actually have what might be considered a crude global positioning system that is based on the Earth's magnetic field. And check out this experiment. These turtle moves may look odd. The turtles will actually act out their swimming behavior in air. But this wave simulator recreates the first environmental cue hatchling turtles respond to. Swimming into waves is a highly reliable trick that the turtles use to guide themselves offshore. Tissue engineering, what is it? 
It's an emerging field, interdisciplinary field that combines engineering and life sciences to create functional biological structures that can restore and improve tissue function. Examples include bladders, trachea blood vessels, and if you look at it, printing as a technology has also gone through the revolution and well, it's been around for hundreds of years. In the last couple of decades, it's been a new dimension. We can now print layer by layer in materials ranging from plastic to metal, to concrete, to chocolate, from the smallest scales to the largest. If you take 3D printing and we combine it with biology, we have bioprinting where the building blocks are cell aggregates, where we called biolink particles, that are composed of thousands of cells that can fuse together into different shapes. These geometries can include multilayered sheets, such as skin, branching tubes for vasculature, and the sophistication of this manufacturing technology improves daily to include different cell types and different shapes. Canada is a country of the enormous natural resources. It is the world's largest exporter of forest products and a top exporter of fish, furs, and wheat. Minerals have played a key role in Canada's transformation into an urban industrial economy. Alberta, British Columbia, Quebec, and Saskatchewan are the principal mining regions. Ontario and the Northwest, NWT and Yukon Territories are also significant producer of uranium and potash, the third largest of asbestos, gypsum, and nickel, and the fourth largest of zinc. Oil and gas are exploited in Alberta, off the Atlantic coast, and in the northwest, huge additional reserves are thought to exist in the high Arctic, oil price is making extraction profitable at a growing number of the country's deposit. Canada is also one of the world's top hydroelectricity producers. Telescopes and eyes are both tools for collecting and detecting light. In fact, telescopes can be thought of as bigger, more powerful eyes. The type of lenses and mirrors and their arrangement determine some of the features of the telescope. The resolution of the telescope is a measure of how sharply defined the details of the image can be. The telescope's primary mirror may have a fraction. As a result, starlight is not brought to a focus at the same point resulting in blurry images. The name telescope covers a wide range of instruments. There are major differences in how astronomers must go about collecting light in different frequency bands. The telescope is widely used in the astronomy field because it is a digital detector, 100 times more efficient than our eyes. Now physicists have begun to develop a various quantum mechanism.
considered reactionary on some issues, such as granting independence to Britain's colonies and at times regarded as a self-promoter who changed political parties to further his career, it was his wartime leadership that earned him iconic status. Some of his peacetime decisions, such as restoring the gold standard in 1924, were disastrous as was his World War I decision to land troops on the Dardanelles. However, during 1940, when Britain alone opposed Hitler's Nazi Germany in the free world, his stirring speeches inspired, motivated, and uplifted a whole people during their darkest hour. Churchill saw himself as a champion of democracy against tyranny, and was profoundly aware of his own role and destiny. Indeed, he believed that God had placed him on earth to carry out heroic deeds for the protection of Christian civilization and human progress. A providential understanding of history would concur with Churchill's self-understanding. Considered old-fashioned, even reactionary by some people today, he was actually a visionary whose dream was of a united world beginning with the union of the English-speaking peoples, then embracing all cultures. In his youth, he cut a dashing figure as a cavalry officer as seen in the 1972 film Young Winston, directed by Richard Attenborough. Theater study is a difficult subject in the academy because it cannot be experimental and it is a mixture of literature and personal life experience. Theater should show pure lives, although there will be new actors or directors. It is also a collection of different skills such as writing and singing. To succeed in this subject, you need the knowledge of linguistics, sociology, archaeology, physics, psychology, and philosophy. For many, these have been vital considerations for the future of artificial intelligence. But British computer scientist Alan Turing decided to disregard all these questions. In favor of a much simpler one, can a computer talk like a human? This question led to an idea for measuring artificial intelligence that would famously come to be known as the Turing test. In the 1950 paper, Computing Machinery and Intelligence, Turing proposed the following game. A human judge has a text conversation with unseen players and evaluates their responses. To pass the test, a computer must be able to replace one of the players without substantially changing the results. In other words, a computer would be considered intelligent if its conversation couldn't be easily distinguished from a human's. Turing predicted that by the year 2000, machines with 100 megabytes of memory would be able to easily pass his test but he may have jumped the gun. One of the most amazing things that have happened even in my lifetime is the prediction of cosmology. 
When I started out 40 odd years ago, we thought we knew that the universe began a big bang, some people doubted even then. We thought the universe was about 10 or 20 billion years old. But now for really very sound scientific reasons, we can say that the universe did start in a big bang and it's 13.8 billion years old. So it's not 14, it's not 13 because a decimal point in there and that's a stunning achievement to know that. Fantastic, if we'd done it and counted in the other way around and said that the stars were older than the universe, we would say science was in deep trouble. But it's not, everything fits together and we know how the universe began, we got to know how the way it is. The future that at LL suspects we don't know quite well what's going, but we got some ideas, which are as good as those ideas we had 40 years ago about how Big Bang happened. When the 90s was coming around, more and more normal people could get online. Thanks to the UK, the invention of HTML allowed people to create a wide variety of extraordinary works. During the first decade, people created web pages, learning resources, and other online contents without normal factors, such as fears, religious concerns, advertisement, profitability, or traditional promotion schemes. It is because they thought it was a good idea. Today in our class, we will discuss hypertext markup language, popularly known as HTML. I think there is an intense competition at the moment to hire the most talented and most intellectually able people. There is a time when I think companies have many of the adventures in the world. That involves the company's world. It was the boss's world. Now I think it reverses the case. We have a shortage in talent base within countries and between countries, have an intense battle between companies to hire the most talented workers and also between countries which are looking to recruit talented young people, talented young immigrants. I think there is an intense competition at the moment to hire the most talented and most intellectually able people. There is a time when I think companies have many of the adventures in the world. That involves the company's world. It was the boss's world. Now I think it reverses the case. We have a shortage in talent base within countries and between countries, have an intense battle between companies to hire the most talented workers and also between countries which are looking to recruit talented young people, talented young immigrants. <laughs> 